Getting to level 30 can be quite the grind. If you're interested in reaching level 30 as soon as possible, with less interest in the story, you want to pay attention to this video. If you're someone that wants to enjoy the game and story and not rush through it, you shouldn't go too in-depth into this video, but even for you guys, there are some tips that will help you with leveling without ruining your playthrough. You gain levels by gaining experience, as in any game. You're awarded experience by completing main missions, side missions, capturing control points, completing projects, completing random activities and eliminating enemies. The order you perform these activities in is of importance, as some will award you with more XP at higher levels, while others award you with more XP at lower levels. Let's start at the beginning. After completing the introduction, you want to head over to the quartermaster in the hall of the base of operations. Here you want to unlock the 5 tiers of this perk. Headshot, multi-kill, weak points, tactical kill and survivor accolades. These respectively award you extra XP upon getting headshots, multi-kills, weak points, environmental object kills and not dying for a long time solo or in a group. The first four are pretty self-explanatory. The fifth one, staying alive, can be quite hard depending on the situation. To optimize your uptime, I recommend equipping at least one repair skill Selecting a chem launcher with the reinforcer variant is a good example, as it has the fastest cooldown and the quickest healing. If you're playing solo, the hive with the reviver variant instantly deploys when you go down. As you revive, you don't have armor, so use an armor kit before you do anything else, as you're immune for a short period of time after getting that revive. Although these perks don't seem like the biggest benefit, by the time you will reach level 30 you will have defeated thousands of enemies, each one rewarding you with that extra XP in turn, allowing you for an extra level or two. Then it's time to enter the capital and start liberating it. The first activities you want to do are the main missions, indicated by the hexagon icon. The experience they award you with is an absolute number, meaning no matter what level you are, you will always receive the same amount of experience. For example, the Jefferson Trade Center will always reward you with 4950 experience, even if you're level 30. Playing on a higher difficulty, hard instead of normal, will only increase the drop chance for loot. It doesn't award you with extra XP. On top of that, as you level, that loot you got in the previous missions is already worse than the loot you're getting in the current one, so hardy difficulties aren't worth it for leveling. Replaying main mission isn't an option either, if you're interested in leveling that is, as replaying doesn't award you with any experience. Once you completed the main missions, side missions are your best option. These are indicated by the pentagon icon. The experience these award you with is relative, as it always awards you with a third of the experience needed to complete your level. An additional tip, if you're close to leveling up, level up before completing the side mission, as the percentage based reward means it won't award you with any extra XP beyond your level. But after you completed the side missions or in between, you can complete activities. Activities you can think of are open world activities like capturing control points and completing any random activities like preventing a public execution. Similar to the side missions, these also scale with the level of the player, although their reward is smaller. So completing these is best to do if you're close to leveling up or if it ties into projects, as you can kill two birds with one stone. Projects reward you with XP too. You need to complete specific objectives, like preventing a public execution, donate materials to the control point officer, or donate your gear. Because of the last objective, you always want to check if you can donate the weapons and gear you don't need to the project officer before selling or deconstructing it. That way you have a little bit of extra XP in between leveling. To sum up the strategy for leveling up the quickest, first unlock the XP accolade perks at the quartermaster for extra XP for kills and surviving. Play the main missions first, followed by the side missions and occasionally control points and activities if you're close to leveling up or if you can complete one, in combination with completing projects for an extra XP boost. That's it, in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed or used this guide. I would like to ask you to like or dislike depending on what you thought of the video. Share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description.
Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in intel briefs on stories, characters and weapon and build guides with the summarized information from the corresponding videos. I'm currently not uploading any of those videos as I'm saving them once we reach endgame and we have gone through the initial startup period of The Division 2. To end the video I have a question for you. Are you going for level 30 as fast as possible or will you take your time and enjoy your initial playthrough? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.